Hello, I am Angela Guerin, a student at Purdue University Calumet, speaking to you today about the popularity of autopsies on television. The entertainment industry has made quite an impact in the world of forensic medicine and bringing the mystery of death into the homes of millions for decades. The autopsy made its way from the shadowy basements of medical facilities into the spotlight with television shows. Premiering in the fall of 1976, Quincy M.E. was a different kind of crime drama. Jack Klugman, who starred as the title character, solved crimes, mysteries, and social injustices by autopsying victims until the show's cancellation in 1983. A very short-lived television series that aired in 1989 was Unsub. This show featured FBI forensic scientists using science through autopsies to investigate unsolved crimes. In its eight episodes, Unsub tried to interest viewers in the world of forensic science and medicine to identify the unknown subject. In 1994, HBO began airing Autopsy as a part of their America Undercover documentary series. Michael Baden, M.D., a formal chief medical examiner for the New York City Medical Examiner's Office, hosts every episode. Dr. Baden is a world-renowned forensic pathologist and has investigated the deaths of President John F. Kennedy, John Belushi, and other tragic deaths. Dr. Baden is an expert witness in the field of forensic pathology and has testified in many high-profile murder cases. The popularity of this series stems from the amount of famous or infamous cases Dr. Baden profiles in every episode. The fall of 2000, CBS broadcasted its first episode of CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. This crime drama, centered around science and medicine, helped make CBS a favorite television network again, as well as drawing in a whole new audience of viewers with its opening credit music, who Are You? by The Who, and its locale of Las Vegas. Nearly every episode placed its characters and audience in the morgue for an autopsy with Dr. Robbins. CSI was so successful that it spawned two spin-off series aptly named CSI Miami and CSI New York. Dr. Jan Garavaglia, a.k.a. Dr. G, hit the television screens of homes across the country and around the world in the summer of 2004 on the Discovery Health Channel. Dr. G, medical examiner, documents real death investigations from her many years of experience by showing footage filmed during actual autopsies as well as animations and dramatizations of events leading to death. This show is still airing new episodes on Discovery's Fit and Health Network. Best-selling author James Patterson's book series, Women's Murder Club, held its first meeting with the book First to Die when it was published in 2001. This book was made into a television movie in 2003, but in 2007, ABC aired 13 episodes based on the books and was known as the Women's Murder Club. The books in the television series both featured characters whose occupations were a homicide detective, a medical examiner, a newspaper reporter, and an assistant district attorney. The women with their own unique styles of solving crimes would gather in the autopsy suite to examine potential clues to bring justice to the people of San Francisco. The role of the homicide detective, Lindsay Boxer, was portrayed by actress Angie Harmon. In 2002, author Tess Gerritsen introduced readers to the characters Jane Rizzoli and Dr. Maura Isles with her novel, The Surgeon. The characters are heterosexual women who use their wiles either on the beat in Boston or in the morgue. Dr. Maura Isles is a sounding block to Detective Jane Rizzoli over the victims that lay on her autopsy table. As the victims of a vicious killer increase in number, the clues found during autopsy help them find their suspect. Tess Gerritsen's popular book series, Rizzoli and Isles, spawned a television series on the cable network TNT in 2010. Angie Harmon again stars in a role of a crime-fighting homicide detective, but this time as Jane Rizzoli. 
The third season of Rizzoli and Isles will air in the summer of 2012. The various entertainment websites review and promote the title characters as best friends, though the marketing posters for the series hint at another type of relationship for Jane and Mora. The spring 2011 television series brought new life to actress Dana Delaney as a Philadelphia medical examiner. The show was such a success with a freshman season of only nine episodes that ABC continued the series for the 2011-2012 season. The characters find themselves collecting evidence at death scenes and inside the morgue, performing autopsies using the unique skills of Dr. Megan Hunt, a former neurosurgeon, to solve death's mysteries. Fans of Patricia Cornwell's K. Scarpetta books would like to see the fictional forensic pathologist come to life on the small screen. Whether or not the books will ever become a television series is anyone's guess, and until there is an answer, fans can either continue reading and rereading the books or tuning in to the many television shows with autopsies as a major plot line. Thank you.